Thank you all. It's a great pleasure to be here today and to have the opportunity to once again welcome President Biden to the great state of Wisconsin following his great State of the Union address last night. I'd like to thank the Wisconsin Labor District Council. Thank you, folks. Orange Dye. Thank you for hosting us today. And thank you to Congressman Pocan, Madison Mayor Rhodes Conway, and all the outstanding apprentices, employers, union members, apprenticeship supporters, and labor, other labor partners being here today. You know, in his speech last night, President Biden highlighted the incredible recovery our nation has seen these last few years, including record low unemployment, significant job gains, and a sustained recovery we will continue to see, thanks to historic federal investments in our nation's infrastructure and key industries. And here in Wisconsin, we're seeing the results of this investment firsthand. Our economy is in the strongest position ever in our state's history. Unemployment at a record low. Our state's labor force participation is at record high. We We've already delivered the largest tax cut in state history and kept more money in Wisconsinites' pockets. And we're going to continue to cut taxes to the middle class, not the wealthiest among us. And central to our successful economic recovery has been the support of our union workers and folks in the trades. Thanks to you, we have improved over 5,800 miles of roads and nearly 1,600 bridges across our state. Thanks to you, we're bringing new or improved high-speed internet access to more than 387,000 homes and businesses in the state of Wisconsin. We've replaced thousands of miles of lead service lines and made great strides in investing in the re reliability and sustainability of our state's infrastructure. And thanks to investments like the President's once-in-a-generation bipartisan infrastructure law, we have even more funding coming our way to continue this essential work. But we've got a lot of work to do, folks. We need to bolster the middle class. We need to maintain our economy's momentum. And we need to reduce barriers to work and recruit and retain talent to address our workforce shortages. We have to be focused on building our economy from the ground up, starting with our small businesses, our main streets, and the hearts of our communities. The President believes the best way to grow the economy, create good-paying jobs, and lower costs for families is by supporting workers and investing in people. And on that, we certainly agree. From expanding clean energy jobs and bolstering manufacturing to replacing lead pipes and expanding high-speed internet, to making health care and mental health care more affordable and accessible. Together, we are building the sort of future that we want for our state and our country. And I know President Biden is a partner in this work and that he's going to finish the job he set out to do. So with that, let's get to work, folks. Thank you.